Hello my beautiful friends. In three weeks I will leave to Cape Town to work from there yet again. I was actually inspired because I'm currently going to a coach and I am talking to her about, well, actually my sort of difficulties with grounding in the Netherlands ever since I have lived in South Africa in 2010. So this is already six years ago. This is also the whole reason why I wanted to make this video. What people actually don't tell you about living, studying or working in South Africa or abroad actually. So first let me tell you in a nutshell what I did six years ago. Um, I actually just studied over there. Well, I didn't really study for the first two to three months. So I lived in Cape Town and I actually studied at the University of Cape Town and I wanted to deepen my knowledge about the history of South Africa, about the apartheid, about how people form their identities, etc etc that's a different story this whole experience has been very life-changing for me and I know that a lot of things are life-changing on YouTube nowadays but this truly has been very life-changing and I think I have learned so many life lessons in that year but I've also learned something that people don't really tell you about at least my university didn't tell me about this and that's the whole reason why I'm making this video first of all I want to mention three things that you might be scared of before you will do such a thing First of all, you are alone, you are by yourself and if you have never had such an experience this might be scary somehow because you might get the feeling that you won't get any friends down there or well that you will be completely and utterly alone all of the time in your own little room or whatever. Basically this is just not true. It's very easy to say but maybe you can uh, experience doing things alone doing things by yourself in your own country before you do such a thing because you will notice when you are alone when you're just having a drink by yourself or going to the movies by yourself people will talk to you somehow when you're alone people will actually talk to you sooner than when you're with a friend or with your partner or something that is something that has truly opened my eyes and it is just so comforting somehow. There are people all over the world and there are so many friendly people that actually wanna have a good conversation. So don't be afraid to not make any friends or whatever. This will sort itself out once you're there. Yes. Second thing that was actually quite, well, people really made me very scared because South Africa, of course, is a country with a lot of struggles and has a lot of crime. At the same time, people made me way more scared before I left. People even asked me if I had a bulletproof vest with me. I mean, six years ago, it was just so many people didn't know South Africa back then, in my environment at least. And they were pretty much worried about me going there and I, I get the worries, but at the same time they made me very afraid. So I was very conscious somehow of where I was going. At the same time I was always quite calm and I wasn't as worried as they were probably. So if you're going to South Africa, just stay calm. I think my main advice would be to just act normal. If you act normal and kind, people will act normal and kind to you too. And I think this is a basic principle in life. In general though, Cape Town is a fantastic city. I think it is the most wonderful city in the world. The people are so friendly. I actually think they have a mentality down there of which we can actually very much learn from. But in the end, just be kind to the locals and they will be very kind to you too. Maybe even kinder than you expect. So the third thing that people actually will warn you about is the culture shock that you might get over there. Of course, it's a different society. They have this crazy history. Sometimes you, you will meet people or you will get in uh, situations that you might not be aware of. And I think in general, uh, the culture shock wasn't as bad somehow as they mentioned it to me but all the things that were new to me were actually all positive and well truly opened my eyes it was just a completely different lifestyle that they have down there which I learned from actually and uh, grew from what I will mention is that I actually read a book about the culture of South Africa before I went there and this has been very helpful for me at least and I actually read it again this year because I was going again 
earlier this year and because I'm going in a few weeks again as well. Just reading about their history and about all the different cultures that they have down there puts a lot of things down there in perspective and you can get the context of things and of course you you respect the culture and I think this is highly important when you want to live somewhere for a longer period of time no matter where it is. So like I just said six years ago South Africa was just completely new to me it was a new world somehow a new lifestyle um, people living outside way more enjoying life to the fullest it was just one big learning school so next to going to university it was just the whole lifestyle on itself was just very eye-opening to me meeting the locals but at the same time I was living in an international house so I was always meeting new cultures in my own house as well Mexicans people from Spain from friends America all over the world basically and you will basically just learn so much already from them meeting them and um, well getting to know their world as well so in general, I don't have anything negative to say about my time there six years ago. It was actually so great for my personal development that I can recommend any student to do such a thing. However, now comes the point of which I actually wanted to make this video about, what people don't tell you. And I just mentioned the culture shock that some people say that you can get when you get over there. I had a reverse culture shock. When I came back, I actually got in like a little depression even because life in the Netherlands was all of a sudden so, I don't even know how to say it. Well, as if I got sort of a slap in the face how things are going down here. So everybody has a pretty strict schedule. Everybody wants to plan things. We live inside because of the climate. Of course, we're not always in our homes, but we go from one indoor place to the other. And it's just a completely different lifestyle, basically. And this is the main thing that I wasn't prepared for. So I basically prepared my South African stay for a whole year in 2009. I deepened my knowledge about the culture there. I did everything. I was prepared for the culture shock down there. But then all of a sudden I came in Holland and it was just like, what the hell? And I was so not prepared for that. I basically had to deal with this over the last few years even. I really had to give South Africa a special place in my heart somehow but at the same time I'm still working on it because the life over there is just so completely different. This is also one of the reasons why I wanted to be able to live and work abroad wherever that might be but it could be Cape Town again. The main thing that I have learned over well the past year I guess and also with the coaching right now is that I don't want to see South Africa as this place of nostalgia and look back at it with sort of homesickness. Instead of looking at it in the past, I just want to give it a new place and include it in who I actually am. Because South Africa is a part of me and I just want to include it in my lifestyle. So I don't want to say that I want to emigrate or anything, but I do want to include it way more than I actually did over the past years. And of course, I get it, every experience will be different. Um, I think I have grown in that part that that is just completely fine. The location won't change and the lifestyle won't either. This is just something that I am embracing right now and this is also the reason why I want to work there this year again. This is the reason why I wanted to make this video is just to send out a message for the people who want to study abroad or do an internship abroad. You can honestly support your decision and I think it is a very wise thing to do for your self-development and for everything that you will learn. You also truly notice like uh, you have something in common with other people that have done such a thing as well. At the same time be aware that if you have fallen in love with the country that you will live in or you've had such a crazy experience and it's so worthwhile that the life in your own country will just continue in a normal way so when you go back well you might be shocked as well and also like I just said I am still learning how to deal with that and uh, it is something that I am including in my life instead of sort of neglecting it I wish that if YouTube was as big as it is right now and I would have seen a video like this before I left to Cape Town that I knew these things 
and that is why I'm making this video. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you want to follow my adventures, you can of course subscribe on my YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram as well. I hope I can take you along and show you the lifestyle down there because it is amazing. You will see. I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.